So the first drug that I took, I took when I was 12 years old. Um, I had a drink and I quickly became an alcoholic. Uh, and shortly after that, I found drugs. My whole life, as far as I remember, I, I have felt alone, even though I've had someone by my side, my twin brother. We, we took the job um, in Alberta, working crazy hours, always getting high. So I started using fentanyl. Um, that's when um, tragedy hit. Eventually, I was on the streets, homeless. By the end of it, I was just, I was destroyed. I go home and uh, um, I went into my brother's room. We were fighting for a little bit, um, probably about a month, but we made up that night. So we, you know, told each other that we loved each other. We cried together. We're twins, we're brothers, right? Like, can't be mad forever. I went to bed and I woke up at probably about 6 a.m. and I felt this weird feeling in my heart. I knew that something was wrong and, uh, and there he was. He was, he was on his bed and he was, he was dead. Um, after Kiran passed away, um, I kept using for about almost two months. Every time I used, I would cry. I'd just bawl my eyes out. I was able to get a hold of a friend just to ask him what I should do, and he suggested that I go into recovery. I've been through hell, um, but my life, like, I'm, I'm happy today. You know, it's a struggle. Grief is, grief is hard, but, like, I'm happy, and that's all because of recovery. Recovery is a journey, and it will have its ups and its downs. I wish I could help everyone in the world who's struggling with addiction. Reach out, ask for help, and know that you are worth it. You can get through it and you can. Recovery is real, recovery is possible, and recovery is sustainable.